When managing a system, a classical approach is to first model it, for instance, in the form of a petri net, in order to get rid of useless features and then to analyze the model in order to derive its behavioral property. This may be interesting, but if the properties are not as expected, it may be a bit difficult to modify accordingly the system. Hence, we may proceed the other way around and start from the desired properties considered as a behavioral specification, synthesize them uh, in the form of a model of some class, which may be considered then as a structural specification, and then implement this in the form of a system of some kind. For instance, we may start from a label transition system, synthesize a petri net of some class <coughs> with the label transition system uh, as the reachability graph, and then implement the net in the form of a parallel program. <clears throat> but it may happen that the synthesis is simply not possible, that it fails, essentially because the target class uh, is a bit too narrow. Hence, the next, the next idea is to consider some superclass of models that is an extension of Petri nets. And here we considered reset nets where for some pair place and transition, when the transition is fired, between the absorption of tokens and the production of new ones, the remaining tokens in the place are simply erased. This leads to an interesting theory, but the synthesis is essentially exponential and the implementation is also a bit difficult. Hence, the next idea is to consider some adequate subclass of this subclass. And here we consider choice-free reset nets, where for each place there is at most one transition, either classical or resetting one, which may decrease the marking of the place. And then suddenly the uh, synthesis again is uh, polynomial and the implementation also is much more sympathetic. And I encourage you to have a look at the paper to see all the details and uh, thank you. <clears throat>